So MUD has a really vibrant summer research program. We usually get around a 200 or so students a year who stay on campus to work with professors during the summer. So in this lab, we're working with cheap, abundant materials that can be used to make very thin, lightweight solar panels. And our ultimate goal is to do something basically has the nickname of solar paint. We'd like to be able to basically spray paint solar panels over large surface areas. It's been nice working in a lab that is related to some type of industry that I may want to work in later, renewable energy and energy storage. And it's nice to be able to work on something that I think will have great impact. Hands-on research is so important because that's how you see if you really have a love for a subject. You know, um, you can sit in a class with a professor and learn about it, uh, but until you have the opportunity to really dig and go deeper, um, you don't really know if that's for you. It's been an amazing opportunity because I feel like in just 10 weeks, like I learn a lot and it's a very valuable experience for me to learn new analytical techniques and different types of chemistry. I study social insect behavior and what really fascinates me and our group is understanding how it is that these tiny insects um, can work together in groups to do pretty complicated and amazing things. We're looking at turtle ants and honeybees. They're insects which have individual behaviors that might not always seem like the most efficient. However, at the colony level, both honeybees and turtle ants and tons of other social insects make really, really efficient, I mean, maximally efficient decisions. Nobody wants to work on something that's already solved. I don't want to give my student a problem that I know the answer to because then I'm just like, I wonder if you're gonna discover what I already know. And so the excitement about summer research is you're working on something that I want to know, that you want to know, that the world wants to know, and the work that you do could be uh, what solves the problem.